Hey everybody, I'm in Ghent. I'm on top of a castle, not actually quite on top, called Gravenstein, which you can probably see behind me. I don't even know if I'm in the frame really, it doesn't matter. So, I was gonna go to Ypres today, which is a World War I battlefield section, like where it's a museum, Flanders Field, all that stuff. But uh, the Australian guys I was gonna go with, they, I don't know, they didn't show up. And I didn't wanna go out there alone, it's kinda depressing. I said, well why not go where the World War I ended? With the Treaty of Ghent. So I'm in Ghent. Uh, it's a pretty cool castle. It's uh, famous for uh, torturing people. So they have a guillotine and lots of torture stuff. Uh, a lot of cool medieval weapons. Uh, 14th century guns or 15th century guns. Whatever guns were invented. I don't know. Uh, so it's pretty neat here. Um, you can probably see a lot of stone behind me. Apparently, it was built in the 13th century. Uh, some of it was actually done in the early 20th century as part of uh, some sort of uh, expo that was happening in the early 20th century, and they wanted to make it look more medieval. Um, you can kind of see what's old and what's not. I think uh, everything behind me is pretty old, but there's some like towers and things that clearly aren't. Again, it's a pretty cool town. Um, it's only seven euro to get here from Bruges round trip on a Sunday, so I'm um, here. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. Um, I'll obviously update from Bruges later, um, because Bruges is pretty cool looking, although there's really not much going on. So Colin Farrell, this character, totally right. It's, it's a fucking boring town. Uh, yeah, just drinking in expensive restaurants, and uh, I can't afford expensive restaurants, so you can guess what I did which is probably what I've been doing too much. So, anyway, um, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye.